and then, then I was like, uh, what if the author of the game will decide they will make uh, similar crops like in that game, oxygen not included, and every uh, crop will need a different pressure, different gases, and you know what I mean, right? Mm -hmm. So then I was thinking, like, no, 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 I need to make a advanced greenhouse, so my greenhouse will be able to to do it. So I, I was thinking, like, maybe I will be a week or two or maybe two months or whatever in front of the outer of the game. So then I decided to build this monster. So how it works. And I will try to explain it as short as possible, but you are a programmer, so you will know exactly what is behind it. There is just a one uh, gas sensor in the greenhouse and I'm reading the temperature, right? Yep. So <clears throat> this uh, left dial is to set the temperature in degrees, in Celsius degrees, not the not in the kelvins. And this right dial, that's the gap between the the temperature. Let, let's say if I will set it uh, 20 or 21, the gap will make it like it will be 26. So basically, there is a, a math unit or math logic circuit which counts always 20 or 21 or 22 plus 5 or or less than 5 if I will make that uh, gap smaller. So I am setting the gap like the 21 degrees will be the minimum and I can set the maximum I think like 10 degrees or something like that. So there will be always a gap so so that's the first step. Then, then uh, the next step is like uh, uh, the chips and the gas sensors or the sensors they are displaying the temperature in kelvins so this uh, memory that's the kelvins for zero uh, celsius degrees right so there is gotcha. another calculation like blah 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 and make that uh, celsius uh, degrees into kelvins and and back so that's these few mathematics units here Maybe that's not the most clever way how to do it, but I was like, maybe it will work, but and and uh, it works. So the next step, there is a Schmidt trigger for a temperature. I think it, it's here. I think I am standing on it right now. That's the Schmidt tr trigger. And that Schmidt trigger is taking the data from the dials so it, it is like a dynamic uh, dynamic data so you can always change them with the dials not I'm not using the memories so you can choose the temperature and whatever you want so then next step is cooling of the greenhouse and let's say if the greenhouse is set from 21 to 24 degrees the gap for cooling is always that 24 minus 21. So let's say three degrees above this temperature. So it will cool the greenhouse from 27 degrees to 24. Then it stops and then the greenhouse is okay. So that's the next uh, row of uh, logic units. Next. So that, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. avoids the uh, temperature um... It avoids the, the fans from turning on at 24 and turning off at 25 and turning yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flapping. Oh, yeah, yeah, so okay. that's like a, another Schmidt trigger. Yeah. So next Schmidt trigger is for the pressure. And exactly same thing, like I'm taking the data from the gas sensor, then then I am uh, like calculating the data and I am setting the gap here and, and it works with the uh, pressure exactly same like for the temperature. So, like, if, if you have the first step, like the temperature, then you can add the rest very, very easy, because you already know how to do it. So, next thing is uh, the ratio of the oxygen. Like, there is a 25% of oxygen in the greenhouse right now, and it will not move or it doesn't work right right now, because I don't have any plants or crops in the greenhouse. So if I will have the crops and the, and the 
if I will have crops or uh, plants inside the greenhouse, then you will see the percentage is changing in the greenhouse very fast. So then the the greenhouse will uh, take uh, care about it. And basically, the last step for this is uh, like to turn that dials into a percentage and back, and that's it. And I think it's like 45 chips. Very cool. And it's all very logical. I mean, it's exactly what you'd expect. Thank uh, you very much. To see. <laughs> to see. No, no, this is, it's exactly, it's exactly what you'd need, right? And uh, it's all logically laid out. Um, do you find that the usage of, I, I notice this is a very common um, idiom, the way that mm -hmm. uh, the cables are laid out. Uh, rather than try to lay them out in a in a sequence, you just put the chips down and, and label them and then just rely on the network, right? That's, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you find that ugly or do you find that that kind of, that's okay? Mm, I think it, it's okay because uh, when I am, let's say, if I'm going to build something big, I will first lay the cables everywhere and then I will put just the chips inside it. And then I will remove the cables, uh, like, which I don't use. Right. I notice you use the heavy cables everywhere for everything. Everywhere. Is everywhere. Is that because power will find the one cable that is yeah uh, weak? Yeah, yeah. Weak and it will destroy yes, it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the 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 main reason for the heavy cables everywhere is I'm not using any transformers in the base. I don't have even one except the classroom uh, downstairs and. Uh, because I like the transformers, I like the way how they work. But if they, if the transformers are inside the base, which is pressurized, they make a lot of noise. Interesting. It, it is horrible. It is horrible. <laughs> like uh, if if you will have five or let's say ten transformers in the base and it, it is pressurized, and you will take your <laughs> helmet off, then you will understand. <laughs> so, so far, my plan has been to keep all of my uh, power oh. generation and distribution outside. Yeah, so I think yeah, I'll yeah. keep that plan. That's... <laughs> like, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure, like, if somebody will see this video and they will say, like, what the hell? They don't have transformers. No, no, no. We will change it, and then, <laughs> then I will be forced to have transformers. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Uh... Maybe the stationers guys will yeah, decide. Yeah. Rocket will decide. <laughs> yeah, to well, make it... Sadamo decide doesn't use any transformers. Yeah, yeah, not even one. That. Yeah, yeah, we will <laughs> we will fix it and then I will try to find all the uh, cables which are damaged or gone completely. So that will be. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 next thing, like if you want to have a laugh, like the greenhouse has only one. Uh, Atmos atmospherics uh, like uh, the filtration unit and it is outside of the greenhouse and of course right. your question will, will be like and and why like it's because if... it's really noisy yeah oh no, man. I get it it's even worse <laughs> than transformers <laughs> yeah i noticed actually when we were in this room mm -hmm. in here even there's there's a lot of uh there's a lot of noise coming from yeah. this wall. I will cool down this uh, room a little bit. Yeah, it's got it got hot in here, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I think the the reason is uh, they somebody said they broke the the beta version of the game, so the the, oh, yeah. the vacuum on the moon is not taking the heat radiation from the radiators or whatever. So that's why my base is uh, going up a little bit with, with the temperature, but it will be sorted in a, not in a minute, but I'm ready for it. Yeah. So what should I show you? This, this well, is... the guys, the, the guys should be happy because I've turned on all the highest possible shadow level. I hear mm -hmm. that that's really important mm -hmm. that shadows be completely enabled. So all mm -hmm. the shadows are working, but the lights, I noticed that if I stand just here, the light at the end of the corridor there turns it, it, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there is something like a 
view range. Render distance. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Like when you will be here and you will take uh, to the when you will take a look to the gas room, then you you can't see the the monitors right now. But when you will go uh, yeah. closer, you will see them. Like, yeah, they like... they definitely need to uh, work on that. I think mm -hmm. that that's it. Very it breaks the immersion uh, quite a bit. Yeah, yeah when you're like, walking around and like uh, I I don't like it because it should be there, but I'm not crying for it because this is alpha. I bought the alpha. Yeah. I understand how alpha works. So the the, <laughs> the, the, the the developers they will fix it and. I would say for other guys, uh, like, I like this game and I will buy it even again because I want to support it and even if uh, the game will be not finished and I am not saying it will be not finished because I think it is a really, really awesome game I will buy it anyway because right. the hours... That was, that, was, that was my argument as well, like, I, I've already spent like 50 hours playing the game mm -hmm. uh, at this point I feel like if I play if I play any game for 50 hours and I spent you know $25 on it yeah, I'm gonna be yeah. pretty happy you yeah, know? yeah 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 um, so yeah I think there's an expectation like people expect for $25 a completely finished game and it's like you know these the people are behind this obviously have some technical ability mm-hmm because the game is already at this state. Yes. Getting it to a finished state for them, like it's really about just adding features at this point yeah, because yeah. they've got the, the core game is there. Um, like, uh, I would try to explain it like, uh, let's say this game is a, a cheap car, right? The car has a shape, the car has a steering wheel, it has four wheels, and some, sometimes, like when you want to to take it for a test ride some wheel will just fall off from the car right but that's, yeah. that that is just a test ride and i will be happy yeah. to have a test ride in a car of course if i will not kill myself mm -hmm. in that car so i like this game and i will i i would buy it again yeah absolutely yeah this is. Uh, I, I'm still blown away by your base. It just makes me. It makes me happy. It's very hot in here, though. Oh yeah. Oh, dear. I, I will. It's 40 will... degrees. 74, 71. It's actually heating up even more now. We spent hmm. too long talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe maybe <laughs> I will turn. Maybe I will turn off some lights. <laughs> Do the lights generate heat? I I think so. That's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. So th this is not a drill. Turn off the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Man, like th this is some kind of a, a coincidence or something like that. Because yesterday I did a, let's say, a very short a horror movie in Station Ears, and it was it it started with the lights. So maybe this right. will be a temperature Maybe this will be like what happened before the lights went off. <laughs> oh man, the temperature is rising. I'm gonna put my my uh, in suit air conditioner. Turn mm -hmm. that on. See so if that makes a difference. No. Temperature. I need to close my helmet. I think. <laughs> oh, my AC is. I need to. <laughs> I need to close my helmet as well. I think that's. I think that that's probably what we're gonna have to do. It's becoming unlivable in here. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a drill. This is happening. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we have any more lights somewhere here? Uh, just one that light. one. Oh, I there's think something. we are good. Yeah. Oh, there's a. Yeah, there's the light inside. Ah, the in, greenhouse. in the greenhouse. Ah, that, that's okay. Yeah. So let's see what will happen. It's not really cooling down. Oh yes. I think that that's a bug they're definitely going to have to fix mm -hmm. soon because that's uh, that breaks the game. Yeah, and, and we are on dedicated, so it is probably even worse than the single player. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this is the 1000 combination lock. You saw the video probably already. 
Oh, I, I didn't see that actually. No, I, no. I, I heard, I saw the video being pushed mm -hmm. by the air at the moment. Yeah, me too. Um, I did, I did notice the video in the list, but I didn't watch the video yet. Um, so what does this lock? Does it lock the door here? You, uh, the, 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 the door downstairs. Ah. Uh, I have an idea. We will take all the air from the base. That will definitely cool it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, th this is not the problem of the base, but it's a game bug, guys. If you want to blame me for it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the classroom down here? Yeah, yeah, Lesson yeah. price, 50 gold Yeah, more. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I will show you the log, how it works. Right. So basically it works like 10 multiply 10 multiply 10 so it is like uh, 1000 of combinations and if you will uh, change uh, any number of the dial the blast door Nutrition. downstairs Low. will lock you can try it of course Well it, I heard it lock yeah and we can take a look and it's locked do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh yes, so it is locked. Yes. Very nice. Thank you. I uh, I had an idea, let's say maybe two or three weeks ago, and I was like, oh, it's doable, and I will try to do it, and I did it. So I was really proud of myself. So let's go to the classroom, and. Uh, <laughs> And the lesson will begin in a minute. So there should be another sign as well, like the, the first lesson is for free. But I took it down because everybody was saying like, no, 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 I'm here first time. <laughs> <laughs>